first two statements are quite clear. You've got to stabilize and reduce greenhouse gases the same way that a patient coming into the emergency room or hospital, uh, you'd stabilize by the signs. And for us on this planet, the planet is in fever. We, we all know this. And now this is a great work. This transition to uh, renewable energy and efficiency, uh, it, it's not a matter of having more gizmos and gadgets and nuclear power and sequestering carbon. This is a matter of frugality first, I think, as Herman Daly so well described. And then uh, moving out from there. We've got to build a post carbon economy. Economy that works fairly for everybody on Earth. We've got to be, be excuse me, to re-engage the global community. Uh, this is being called in Europe contraction and convergence. But we can't, there's no army strong enough, there's no wall high enough or thick enough, there's no Star Wars shield that would ever work. We've got to re-engage the global community to create a global bargain that is fair and decent and it works for the long haul. Remember those thousands of years? And then uh, Kip started by talking about the word paradigm. By whatever name, we need to come up with a radically different view of ourselves, a view that sees ourselves all linked together as part of this wonderful experiment of life, not as separate, not as separate by nation or ethnicity or even by generation, and certainly not separate from the natural world. But this is going to be a very different kind of paradigm. And then finally, uh, uh, I think we've taken a long stride this last election we're changing the way we think about how we conduct the public business to see what we do at every level as trustees for that long distant future. <laughs>